Welcome to about 310, 12, 13, 14th uh, episode of the Fish and Corn Show. And again, I forgot corn's name in Japanese, but anyways, Sakana and Corn here. And we just had a funny moment, but I'm going to tell Corn about this funny thing that um, kind of uh, tangenting off this uh, story. How did it go? There was um, your neighbor. I'm donning the mask. Right. And <laughs> I so would say something about the, the neighbor. neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> hey, honey, they're doing it again. Yeah, you know, like out the window in their bathroom. <laughs> and, oh, God, what the heck are they doing? You know what I mean? With this sure, I'm sure they, they do that because that guy hates me. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> I got a story. <clears throat> you know, me and uh, when we were living in Santa Barbara, not the Japanese dude, but the, uh -huh. you know, our church boy. Church boy, yeah. He... Um, and I lived together by the city college in Santa Barbara, and it was known for having students. And it's kind of like, you know, what is it? Santa Barbara is small, right? Corn, yeah, but it's, a it's the it was, sort of community. But it was a poor part of town. If there is a poor part of town, still nice. It's Santa Barbara, but nevertheless, we had our room on the second floor of this apartment it's complex. A district. That's what it's called. And then across the alleyway, you know, because like this is another complex that's separated by, you know, a few feet of their land, a few feet of ours, and this like dividing fence. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're both on the second floor, so it's about 10 feet from each other, window to window. Mm -hmm. And we, me and uh, Church Boy would always listen to this couple, and they sounded like white trash, I guess you would call it, yeah. trailer park style. And it was a couple. But and what, they were a little what, bit older. What probably made about, them entertaining? I mean, what? Oh, they'd watch TV, entertainment tonight. You remember that? Do, 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 and they talk about it and do their commentary. Like one time, the woman goes, Is that John Cicada? I like John Cicada. And the guy would do something like, Sudar, that ain't John Cicada. <laughs> you know what I mean? They were that couple. Uh, they would bicker. They would talk sort of pseudo politics in a, you know about the president or something and mm -hmm. you know what they, what TV dinner they'd eat for that night so it was kind of we would listen the same way as this uh, your neighbor and watching us but I think always someone's lip watching someone's always listening you gotta yeah. assume that TV yeah I, I assume somebody's watching uh, I hope you're getting off on it <laughs> you're watching and if you're the if you're not I don't care. The thousandth caller you get, a, you get our net worth on this no. uh, YouTube thing, uh, about four bucks no. now. No, we'll, we'll set you up on a blind date with Harvey Weinstein or Kevin Spacey. Bro, more coming out. Um, I know. <laughs> who is that person that's the newest one? Oh, Dustin Hoffman? If you were an actor, Corn. I'm sure in my younger days, it would, like you, we discussed on the show before, I'd probably be labeled as this guy who... Um, no, no. Not labeled no. as much. I would ask people I, out. I will, I will admit, I have grabbed ass. I have felt up. And Ooh. I've creeped people out. Okay. That's it. But if you do it as a co-worker, that's the difference. That's the I thing. don't do it... No, I do not mess at work. I do not mess. So this is what getting these people in trouble is coworkers, basically. It's not just that. It's also knowing the limits, okay? These guys, some of these guys are flat out rapists. Some of these guys are flat out, you know, pedophiles. I mean, Spacey's a pedophile, dude. He was, he was, he was sma so smashing on little kids, dude. The semi show guy, one of the guys from the semi uh -huh. show, he allegedly raped three people. That and shit's, you know... Not if, to say he looks kind of like the part, if it's, too. If it's legit, if it's a legit claim, then yeah. If I were them, I would be on a train to China somewhere. You know? so I wouldn't be hanging out here. What amazes me is that Harvey Weinstein is still here. Dude, he if you like, knew what you knew, right? If, if he knows what guilt, he's though. done, right? Yeah. He should just cash out and get the fuck out of Dodge. And go to like fucking like that bro, bro. Thailand or Belize. What's that, what's that guy's name? The, um, the actor, the, the director. Um, uh, Roman Polanski? Yeah, Roman Polanski. Yeah. You yeah, get what I'm touch, saying. Yeah. Just get the hell out of Dodge. He touched it. Or Kevin Spacey. That, that dude's like, oh my God. You're going to get out like Roman Polanski. Get the fuck out of here. 
tea. You think that's gonna hit the fan like legalese? Like he's might Dude, do there some has help? to be some shit somewhere, okay? I mean, it's possible because you know stars do go to jail, and he doesn't have uh, Michael Jackson money. Okay, I thought Michael Jackson didn't have any money, but the powers to be. Well, he managed to weasel out of quite a few kitty diddling allegations, didn't he? Yeah, you're right. If you didn't fight it or had money to fight it, you seems be to me away. there's kind of a correlation between power and kitty diddling. Have you noticed that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was just. I mean, you know, on Family Guy, they show Quagmire's house. Uh huh. Michael Jackson's ranch. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. It's 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 an ultimate. Bay. It looks there's a, there's things that were exact replicas of Disneyland. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A no, fucking fun candy store. Here's the here's the thing that weirds me out, and uh, the wife and I were talking about this, is that it's kind of like. You know how people then complain that, oh, now we can't watch these things. You know, we can't watch their movies or we, we should... Or their music, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or their jokes. Which yeah, is like any Bill of that. It's like, you know, okay, whatever. In my head, art still exists outside of the artist, okay? And moreover, there's more than one person involved in this, okay? But at the same time, it does color the way you look at movies. Because, for instance, it, the reason I say that in my head is, you know... Uh, you ever watched, um, a Gary Wrath of God? No. It's a, a Werner Herzog movie. Uh, it stars Klaus Kinski as this, uh, conquistador that loses his shit out in the middle of the jungle. It's a fucking awesome movie. Brilliant fucking movie, okay? Is it black and white? No. But, Kinski is, turns out, was a violent, pedophile, child rapist who, you know, brutalized his kid's throughout their life. Does it change the way I see that movie? I don't know. It, I, I don't think it affects my opinion of that movie. No, it doesn't because you know, it's, like it, it's, it's a still, Tom Cruise effect. It's right. Tom Cruise in there but he's acting as a killer, a vampire, or whatever. Whatever. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, I can separate it. I can separate it that way. But at the same time, I thought about the way it, it this whole Kevin Spacey thing impacts the way I look at his work, Right. A corn, uh, corn hold one second. I want you to keep going on that. Something needs to be. All right, we're back, corn, to so, our guest. So back on that Kevin Spacey thing, and does art stand aside, apart from yes, the artist, right? It's so, well, <laughs> real quick. They uh, not Damien Hurst, but um, the other one, Maplethorpe. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, right? I hope it's different. <laughs> Anyway, the, the point here is that I started thinking about Kevin Spacey movies, right? And I thought about the one one of my favorite ones is American Beauty, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He kind of plays lewd. He's well, just working out. If and... you think about it, what was the subtext there? He really did want to diddle the high school boy. Yeah. It wasn't the high school girl. It was a high school boy. Yes. <laughs> In real life, uh-huh. <laughs> so like, you would think that Mina, whatever her chick is, what's that chick's little chick's name? I have name? no idea. Mina, Mira, Mina, something. It was the back in the day, the uh-huh. little girl, right? The blonde. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So he really on set didn't uh, that didn't we make him? Yeah, the riser was, was the boy. It was the boy. Yeah. Wh- which kind of you know it changes the view, the view of it, and then then I'm thinking the crazy dad that kills him. Well, maybe he the next had, door neighbor. Yeah, maybe he he had a. Remember, it out right. <laughs> it's you know in real life it's the other way around. Kevin Spacey said he's gonna kiss me, but I'm not gay. But it's like I'm gonna add a little tongue here, you know. <laughs> At dinner, you know that Kevin Spacey he's all about. He's kind of yes. fancies me as this younger, not as cool. Uh, who did play Captain Picard? Oh uh, <laughs> no, the ball guy. No, uh, Patrick Stewart. No. Yeah, Patrick Stewart. No, not even close, dude. You like Patrick Stewart? Patrick Stewart is a. Cool He's a human being. I've met Patrick Stewart, but nevertheless. <laughs> um, what about David Hockney? We're talking about artists that are famous. He, didn't he have some weird shit about him, too? Like some kind of little, love the little boy kind of shit? <sighs> there were some famous ones in the uh, world, right? A lot of these people have problems, okay? That's what makes them interesting. 
and so long as it's not illegal, I don't make a big deal about it. And once it's illegal, eh, I'm not going to employ them, but it's not going to change the way I look at these stuff that I've made my opinion on before. Hell, I'm still going to go watch the fucking uh, All the Money in the World. I want to see that movie. <laughs> When, when, when is it coming out? Or is it out? Yeah, well, who knows now, because uh, that whole Brett Ratner thing, he's he's tied to that movie, and he's a sexual predator, oh and Kevin goodness. Spacey's tied to that movie, and a sexual predator. I was telling my wife uh, last night, I was watching um, Drive. Love that movie, by the way. The one with the, um, what's his name, Gosling? Yeah. Yes. Anyway. I was watching that movie and I go, I, I gotta watch this one more time before I find out that everybody in this movie is a rapist too. <laughs> oh, like, doesn't your wife have a thing for Ryan Gos- uh, Gosling? I have no idea. Probably he's, or is he's that, a pretty Canadian. But is that your uh, wife's salary? Because I know she has a really hot for Vigo. Mm-hmm. That's more her thing. Right? Yeah, she, she has a thing for, you know, Danes and Vikings. And I don't know. Scottish, that kind of like Nordic kind of thing. Why I got hooked up with that, but who hey, knows? I'm gonna get some plastic and get some pointy ears. <laughs> pointy ears. You know what I mean? Isn't that part of that whole Nordic kind of I'm a I have no I'm idea. a fucking fairy? Did they talk about did they because I heard in Iceland they are very much in, uh that into is wrapped up in their culture. Did you see that elves? There? The elves and they're shit. Into elves. Did you see it? Was it out there? I mean they're into elves in the same way Mexicans are into the chupacabra, okay? It's, oh, but it's not out there on posters. It's yeah, somewhere in the well, back of the head. Everybody kind of jokes about it. You know, it, it, there, every town has an elf story, you know, but it's not like... It's in the advertising? It, yeah, you'll see it here and there. But oh, wow. Not, so it's like the Japanese yeah. and their cartoonish looking... Mm-hmm. You know, if this was a car, uh, a Japanese, it'd have some kind of like, you know, um, the party bears or something, you right. know, smoking cigars. Hi, tobacco! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the party bear. I'm, what was that little, the little one, Cubby? Cubby. Fucking A. He was scared, wasn't he? He was scared of Kevin <laughs> Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> the party bear. Uh, Cubby's afraid. Yeah, Cubby would be afraid of Kevin Spacey. Cubby would be afraid of Kevin, Kevin Spacey. Spacey would do that whole thing on the bed. Hey, Cubby. Hey, Cubby. <laughs> Laying on the bed on top. Because that's one I of the things. I had my eye on you, Cubby. <laughs> I know. You know, he. I guess that's what he did on the to one of the actors that. Yeah. That he kind of did a whole body smear. You kind of oh look at you, you handsome. You know what I mean, oh, that's so gross, dude. But I guarantee you, there's somebody that's into that. On the receiving end. Yeah. Oh, of course. My Facebook is full of some of these women. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The whole the ones that are all like, dude. <laughs> You're, you would. <laughs> it's like we discussed, it's the wrong person. Mm-hmm. It's the wrong Either way, person. way, people should know the fucking parameters of the box and stay in the box. Oh shit, corn, we're at 13 and a half, we gotta come back. <laughs>